and welcome back to Vintage Vera Bradley. Today's video is going to be all about things that can help keep you dry or stay dry in the rain. So at first, look at this adorable pattern. I grabbed this um, in the online outlet sale. I think I purchased it back in the middle of August. It's called It's Raining Hedgehogs is the pattern. It's a ripstop fabric and I'll go in close here in a second to show you what that means. This is called the Medium Family Tote. So it's quite a bit smaller than like the Family Tote that has a drawstring closure or some of them are open. This is more in line probably with the size of a small Vera is my guess. Um, and I also got during the online outlet sale this clear cosmetic to go with it because it was just too adorable. It's just called Clear Cosmetic in It's Raining Hedgehogs. And these items were originally only available at Kohl's. It was a collaborative between, collaboration between Vera Bradley and Kohl's totes. And then it showed up in the online outlet sale. Um, and then today I stopped by my local Kohl's to find an umbrella. They didn't have a small compact umbrella, but I went ahead and grabbed this longer one. I'll show you what that looks like. See that? Uh, with the crook handle. And let me bring this up close so you can see. See if you can see the pattern. See how it kind of has like a grid type background. So it might not be typically my favorite fabric, but for this purpose, I really like it a lot. And this tote has a nice, almost rubberized lining. I really like that a lot too. And it does have one slip pocket here pretty small um, and then let me undo the base here so you can see how wide that is but in that I just couldn't pass it up I'm like it's just too cute and then that pattern on the umbrella reminded me a lot of paisley jamboree see that not identical but really close just all the cute hedgehogs and then this umbrella is one from the signature line and it is called Enchanted Mandala Coral Tonal. What a word, <laughs> mouthful. I bought this on Amazon for 50% off and then I had another extra 10% off on some Vera Bradley items, so I got a good deal on this. Um, and I'm gonna take the slip cover off and show you. So this one has this kind of elastic um, strap it can open and close automatically, and it has a snap for this closure. I'm not gonna open it all the way, but you can tell whenever it's closed, these are facing downward, okay? So this is from the signature side, and I'm gonna show you the difference between it and the one from Totes. The one from Totes is slightly, let's see if I can get this, slightly just very slightly taller and the handle is bigger around and its pull-off covering has a handle like that which I thought was kind of cool it has a Vera Bradley tag on the side this one is not tagged and does not have a handle a oh, grab handle and again, you have the auto open close. The Veer Bradley branding on this one is right here on this. And so this one, you have a wide uh, Velcro closure to keep it closed. And then it's also branded on the bottom here. Let me see if the other one is. Yes, it's branded on the bottom too. What's different also about this, and I really like this a lot. Okay, so I do this without opening it all the way. Okay, see how when this is closed, these are facing upward. So any rain, any moisture is gonna be caught 
instead of coming down on you, it's going to be caught in the umbrella. So I thought that was a neat difference as well. So let's get that back up. But there's, they're really roughly the same size. I would say the one from Totes is a little, maybe has a little bit more of an ergonom ergonomic handle. See the indenture there. To me, they seem like they weigh approximately the same, but maybe this one's maybe a little heftier. All right, and then this one just has a little Velcro thing, and it, when it closed, faces downward. And it has a button here that you press, and it automatically opens, but it does not auto-close. But I couldn't resist it because... I haven't had a larger umbrella like this in quite a while, and there's been times I've wanted one, and it, this perfectly matched this. Um, despite the name of this having coral in it, to me it's more of a dusty pink. Um, and I'll show you what I mean compared to, let's get this out of the way. I've got strawberry ice down here. This is the Strawberry Ice um, Ultralight from the factory outlet stores. And I'll show you for those who haven't seen it. I wish they still made this. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love this, love this. I have several items in it. I wish I would have gotten more. Um, still looking. And then this is by the same name, Strawberry Ice, but this is in Performance Twill. And I love it too. And you can see the pattern's different on the inside. But see how that's a kind of a dusty pink? And that coordinates really well with that. And then let me put this back up here. That coordinates really well with it. Another thing that, that I own that has kind of that dusty pink in it is Rosa Camo. And this is the VB Adventure Hip Bag. And so you can see how that, especially right there, that darker pink in the background is a really good match for that. So I was really pleased on how well all of these really coordinate together. Um, even Paisley Jamboree goes well with it. Let me unbury here so you can see it just against strawberry ice. Because of the color or tone of that, and then like I pointed out earlier, that umbrella reminds me a lot of Paisley Jamboree. So, um, I'll show you the tags. If you're at Kohl's, it's Vera Bradley Totes. And I got... Oh, what was interesting was this umbrella, they named the pattern on this item, All Weather Hedgehogs. So I thought that was interesting that it's not named Raining Hedgehogs, it's called All Weather Hedgehogs. So two different names, really essentially the same pattern. And then this is Paisley Jamboree, just like the uh, signature version of this pattern. See how cute. Anyway, I highly recommend these items if you're looking for something that is water resistant.